Lionsgate did a brand study on why people, with Twisted Pictures, with us, we did a brand study on why people like the movie, why they stopped going to the theater, why they might have been turned off, what was what, what they, they like, the what movie. they miss, and it came back that everybody really wants more of Tobin Bell in the movie. They want to see him alive. They want Shawnee Smith in the movie. They want the original characters. So we had to make a movie that took place prior to Tobin Bell dying. Tobin died in Saw 3. So our movie had to go back in time before that. So we set this between Saw 1 and Saw 2. We set it in Mexico City because we were, in this study we found out how big an audience our Latin audience is. And we're like, okay, Bulgaria out, Mexico City in. No more Eastern Europe, we're going to Mexico City. And it made the movie. The, the heart, the color, the texture of Mexico is all over Saix. I think consistency. I think one of the things that really helped us is Mark and I, Kevin Greuter has been involved in all 10, Dan Hefner, our producer, um, and Charlie Clauser, who does our music, which is a huge character in the movie. Everyone in Jason Constantine have all been around for all 20 years. So we kind of really, it's not someone coming in giving us, oh, I want to try my way, I want to do this. It's the six of us who have 20 years experience of doing this franchise and keeping it consistent. And so people can pay their money, they can sit back, and they know what they're getting. Whatever they're looking for in this ride, they know what they're getting. What they, what they got in Saw 1, 2, and 3, they know they're going to get in Saw 4. Tobin is the, the heart and soul of Saw. You know, he is the franchise. He's so good in this movie. He's alive. He's in this movie probably more than the last five movies combined. And it's truly his story. You know, and we spent a ton of time with John Kramer prior to him becoming or acting out as Jigsaw, which, which was a blast. It was fun. And it was, I think it was really fun for Tobin to get to act again and, you know, play a different character that he's always been Jigsaw, but he hasn't been John Kramer in a long time. Well, that's why people, you know, a lot of the people that we've talked to today talk about he's the protagonist. She's a huge fan favorite. She's a ton of energy. Her and Tobin have amazing chemistry. So having her in this movie with Tobin helps both of them out a lot. Um, she's, but she's really, really, really loves her character and knows how to play it. The sound, the whole sound design of this movie kind of, it's important to see it. The visuals are great. You know, we saw it last night for the first time, or myself in a giant screen, and you're like, wow. And speakers. Yeah, I mean, just we've seen it in, you know, like the Lionsgate screening room, or, I mean, the sound last night was insane. I actually talked to Charlie about uh, three, four months ago, and he was literally going back in his files, pulling out his stems, which are the little pieces yeah. from Saw 1, 2, and 3, and playing them and playing them to get himself wow. in the vibe. Obviously, the traps are incredible. This is one of our best movies for traps. But, but so the traps, obviously. But I think I think they'll really enjoy seeing Tobin Bell being John Kramer for 25 or 30 minutes, however long it is. Kevin's more than even us. Has literally looked at every foot of footage that's been shot. So for him to know every single, so he knows what it takes to make a movie between Saw 1 and 2, yeah. more than anybody. So and he crushed it, it's the best movie he's made as well. And, and Warren and myself, we actually think this is probably the best of, of any of the Saw movies. Like when you see this, this and the Saw, you know, all the different stuff in, in the early Saw, the first five Saw movies, all the Saw montage, all the camera, all the, that's all him. I think when you see Billy, you know you know it's serious. The trap is coming. Yeah, you know this. You know that it's getting it's getting serious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all fun and games till he shows up.